Hello, good people, and welcome to Finest Girls Hub. Here we learn, we connect, and we grow. Welcome to another episode of Analyzing Data with Cube Functions. In this series, our goal is to show you an alternative way you can analyze your data using Excel's Cube Functions. In our previous series, we learned how to set up the data model, which is very crucial for the calculations we are going to use in creating our sales dashboard. In this episode, we'll learn how to create a calendar table, a very useful dimension table that will help us analyze our data by any date dimension, year, month, quarter. So join me in Excel and let's go through this in a few minutes. So this is our end goal, to be able to create this sales dashboard using only cube functions. And one important element of a dashboard is the ability to analyze the data or see the data through a date dimension. So if you look down here, we have a timeline. So with a timeline, we are able to stop at every point in time to see how we performed. Now, this timeline is made up of year and month, and it is because of this that we need to create a dedicated calendar table. Now, let's look at our data set. So if you look at our data set, this is the transactions table, and then we have order date and delivery date. We are going to create a calendar table that will help us analyze the data set using any of these dates. But before we proceed, a little recap on what we covered so far and then how the calendar table will complete the list of dimension tables. If you recall, we have the main transactions table that has details of the order date, delivery dates, customer ID, product ID, the city the transaction occurred, and the sales and cost details. We said that this records all the granular transactions at every point in time. We call this the fact table. But sometimes we don't have the details of the customer or the product or the city. And to help us get these details, we have separate tables that has customer information. So we have a customer information table that gives us customer name, customer segment. Same for products. We have product ID giving us product category, product subcategory and product name. And then details of our branch. It gives us the city, region and country. We call these the dimension tables. But one critical element that we need to add is the dimension of dates. So in this series, we are going to add the calendar table. This would help us analyze the data by year and by month. So when we add this, we now have a full complement of all dimension tables. So we can take any value from here and then we can create slices or analyze it by these. And then we can use our cube calculations or cube formulas to draw out our insight. So let's bounce back to our data sets and then see how to create this. So back here, we have our data sets and we've already created the data model. To access the data model from your worksheet, you go back to Power Pivot or you can go to Data and then you see this option to go to the Power Pivot window. So either way, you see this icon and then when you click, you now load the Power Pivot which will show you your data model. So we are currently in the data view of our data model. If I switch to diagram view, I see all the tables in a visual way. So what we are going to do now is to add a calendar table. These are the advantages of adding a calendar table. Now let me close this out and explain. You have order dates and then you have delivery dates. Now if you take order dates, you realize that there are gaps in the series of dates. So if it happens that you need to calculate balances at a particular point in time and that date is not available, you may end up with errors. What a calendar table gives you is a series of data represents every day of the year for the period that you are analyzing the data. It helps you analyze by a date hierarchy or dimension. So quarter, year, month are easily calculated without adding extra columns or rows. Okay, and the thing about calendar table is that it takes the start point and the end point of your data set. So at every point in time, when new dates come in, you can refresh and then it adds on to your calendar table. So back at our data model, and then we go to our diagram view. In Excel, 
in the data models it's now very easy to create a dedicated calendar table so all we need to do is to go to design okay and then you see date table here so with this when i create new it now generates a calendar table here now this calendar table has my date year month number month name and then i have extra dimensions that i can use here what is also important is that it creates something called a date hierarchy so with a date hierarchy if i drop this field in a pivot table i now get an opportunity to analyze my data using any of these levels year month and the date column so this is the diagram view and if i come here and i go to my data view i can now see the details of my calendar table again it helps you analyze by any of these columns so now that we've created this i can now come to the transactions table and then i'm going to use order dates okay to connect to this date here so now i now have my four dimension tables customers location product and calendar and with this i'm now able to create my cube calculations based on any of these dimension and then i will draw my measures from this part so now that the data model is set in our subsequent videos we'll go straight into the cube calculations we are going to use for our dashboard and then we'll make progress from that point on the workbook has been shared on our youtube channel please visit download and then practice along as we journey towards building this final dashboard thanks a lot for joining us for more of these short videos you can send add to this whatsapp number we'll add you to our broadcast list so we send videos directly to you all our old videos are on our youtube channel finest skills up please visit subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles thank you so much for watching